it says. Read it. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Yeah, they can lie to you and be a hypocrite with you because it doesn't bother them. All right. There's so many people don't they don't have consciences. They kill their little children after sexually abusing them. They don't have a conscience. They sleep good at night. They have no conscience. Nothing bothers them. Well, I'm not concerned about them out there right now. I'm concerned about them. I'm going to get to us. We're supposed to start here. See, we can point our finger at what the world is doing and what the world is going through. But I'm, I'm going to straighten it out in just a second. Because their conscience is seared with a hot iron. It has a crust over the conscience. Used to be a time man's conscience was tender. Now they have tough conscience. I heard somebody just say the other day, they said, you know, stuff that used to bother me don't bother me anymore. And they were trying to brand that they were more mature and crack. I said, your conscience is seared with a hot iron. I can, I, can, I can deal with stuff now. I can, I can. No, I said, your conscience is messed up. The reason it doesn't bother you now to do what you're doing and go where you're going is because your conscience has a scalp on it. But read what he says. Forbidding to marry uh -huh. and commanding to abstain from meat, mm -hmm. which God had created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believes and know the truth. And I preached this a few weeks ago. This is a background scripture I'm giving you. And I showed you there is a man, a regula regulatory czar, that wants to do away with marriage. Marriage license. Yep, the Holy Ghost. And I told you about the meekness Mondays. Anybody was here when I told y'all about that? <laughs> and we're in that time right now. Giving heed to seducing spirit. Believing lies. A few months ago, they was trying to put in a bill of flagellance law for cattle. And if you don't know what flagellance is, don't look it up in the dictionary. <laughs> Flagellus is when you had eat too many beans. And they were going to put a tax on cattle because they felt like that they were polluting the air and causing global warming. And at the last moment, they pulled it out of the legislation because it was stupid. And if you had X number head of cattle, they were going to tax you for flagellus. That was the word they had in the bill. Y'all better help the Holy Ghost. Out of them because I don't respect much out of them because devils are teaching. All right. But when I come inside the wall, y'all get ready to duck. Because we think that we got it going on. But we be tripping. Look at the sixth verse. If I put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ. Well, y'all, excuse me, I'm going to break the rule. <laughs> And I'm just going to pat my own self on the back. I'm being a good minister right now. Putting you in remembrance. Take my Holy Ghost. Of the things that are happening, not only that I'm going to get to us in a minute, but the things that are happening around us in the world that's affecting us. Because as a pastor, when that stuff go down out there, it affects in here. Because my phone is the phone ringing. And I'm trying to warn people to let them know what they need to stay away from, be involved in, and not be involved in. All right. All right. It is not just my job to teach you Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. All right. But it is to tell you the truth wherever the truth needs to be told. All right. All right. So 1 Peter 4 and 15 says what? But let none of you suffer as a murderer. Now, I'm coming inside the wall right now. Because they just don't need us talking about Jeffrey Dahmer. Right. He's done what he's done. He's paying the price. He has to pay. But I want to talk about inside the walls of you and I suffering as a murderer. In other words, we're going through troubles and trials and problems because we are murderers. Right. Now, Pastor, I have killed anybody. Yes, you have. The Bible says you hate your brother without a call. Mm -hmm. 
He that hated his brother, hated his brother, is a murderer. That's the scripture. <laughs> yeah, you murder. You belong on death row. Heaven's death row. He said, and not let you suffer as what? A what? Thief. I don't want you to raise your hand. You know what you cheated on last year. All right. <laughs> and on the count of three, I want you to say it. One, two, three. Taxes. <laughs> don't say it to your neighbor. Say it to yourself. I was a thief. So, so far, you're a murderer and thief. Because you hated your brother. Oh, 